Welcome to the lesson on Introduction to Natural Resources. At the end of the lesson, you will learn about various types of natural resources, the harmful effects of indiscriminate use of natural resources, various measures to conserve natural resources, different types of fossil fuels. Ten years ago, I visited this forest. It was dense, green and full of life. And today, I visit this forest. Due to the human activities, the forest has lost its life. It's no more green and dense. These natural resources like forests and wild lives are getting exhausted. Dad, what do you mean by natural resources getting exhausted? Can you explain me in detail? Natural means from nature. Nature has given us a lot of resources. Hence, resources supplied by nature will be natural resources. These resources are sunlight, air, petroleum, forest, wildlife, minerals, coal, natural gas, etc. Some natural resources are present in unlimited quantity in nature. They will not be exhausted by human activities. These are called inexhaustible natural resources. Examples are air, sunlight, water and soil. These are called renewable resources because they will replace themselves over time when consumed by humans. Some of the natural resources like forests, wildlife, minerals, coal, petroleum and natural gas are limited. With time they can be exhausted by human activities. These are called exhaustible natural resources. These are non-renewable resources because they will not replace themselves on their own easily when consumed by humans. Coal, petroleum and natural gas are called fossil fuels because they are formed from dead remains of living organisms. These are exhaustible resources. It takes millions of years for the dead organisms to get converted into fossil fuels. Fossil fuels cannot be prepared in a laboratory from dead organisms because their formation is a slow process and conditions for their formation cannot be created in the laboratory. The reserve of fossil fuels will last only a few hundred years because their reserves are being used continuously without thinking to conserve them. Burning of these fuels is a major cause of air pollution and along with cutting of trees, it is contribution to global warming. What shall we do then, Dad? In coming years, these fossil fuels will not be available in abundance. For this, we shall start to take measures to preserve energy by less use and stopping the misuse of our resources. Public transport shall be used most of the times. In fact, in India, the Petroleum Conservation Research Association called PCRA advises people how to save petrol and diesel while driving. Drive vehicles at a constant and moderate speed as far as possible. Switch off the engine of your car or vehicle at traffic lights or at a place where you have to wait. Ensure correct tire pressure of your vehicle. Ensure regular maintenance of your vehicle. Can we conserve energy at home or at our school? Yes, why not? Switch off the light when you don't require them. Turn off the air conditioning or fan when leaving the room. Do not let the tap run while you brush your teeth or soap your hands. Check all leaking taps and water pipelines. Take short showers to save water. Avoid using plastic bags. Use only jute or paper bags. 
You can also recycle the daily newspaper by giving it back to the vendors. Thus, we can save a lot of energy. Let's conclude what we learnt in this lesson. We learnt about different natural resources. Some of these are renewable and some are non-renewable resources. Fossil fuels are in great danger of getting over by continuous use and misuse. We should try to consume energy at home and at schools by following small tips. Visit ATEC Academy on www.atecedu.com or contact on 904-11-52777.